Hey Capricorn, welcome to your horoscope psychic tarot reading for the months of September 2019, October 2019, November 2019, and December 2019 for Capricorn. Alright, thank you for listening and watching. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, comment, and share. Make sure if you would like a personal, private, confidential psychic tarot reading from me or an astrology birth chart reading from me, you check out my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. The link to my website is in the description box. It's in the comment section. It should also be in the title of this video as well. Make sure that you also check out my social media pages. Links in the description box below. And let's jump right into it. This is not just for Capricorn Sun. This is for Capricorn Moon, Rising Venus, Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, Uranus, Pluto, Saturn, first through 12th house, North Node, South Node. Basically, if you have Capricorn in your chart, this reading is for you. So let's get into it. <clears throat> Make sure you all subscribe, like the video, comment, and share. Capricorn for September, October, November, December 2019. Capricorn for September, October, November, December 2019. Age of Swords in the past, the sun in the present position. It's a good, but judgment card in the future. King of Swords. Hmm. Leaving a lot behind. <coughs> Interesting. Well, definitely changes are happening during this time period for you all. Lots of changes, structural changes in your life. The Three of Wands um, in the this deck, the regular, you know, the Rider Waite Tarot deck, is uh, changes. A lot of times it's structural changes for me. So structural changes are happening for you all during this time period. I definitely feel like it's happening. Um, I'm getting September... September is a strong month, I feel like. Um, could be something about you walking away from something, actually. So some of you could be walking away from something, could be walking away from a situation, a person, a job, a, a living situation, um, a school situation. Sometime maybe September, October. Sometime early during this time period. <clears throat> but there could be a catalyst. There could have been a catalyst or they could be a catalyst for you leaving. And it could be maybe due to a conversation or something that may be an older or wiser, more veteran air sign, possibly male or masculine energy said or conversation you had with this person. Nonetheless, um, it does feel like there's something very strong about a new past being open for you or you being enlightened to a new path in some way shape or form also capricorn i'm getting that you're going to be enlightened to new paths in general during this time period so new ways of doing things new way be be ready <laughs> i'll say this be ready and be open to new ways of doing things new ways of living new ways of expressing yourself even new ways of of uh I don't know why I just got this. New ways of dressing yourself, new ways of new ways of styling yourself. It's like you're gonna shift and change during this time period. A lot of old things or old ways that you used to do things are going to change and shift during this time period for the better. All right. <clears throat> Definitely being more action oriented. Karma is very strong here. <clears throat> 
someone could be getting to them what's old, especially if they have have done or tried to to do or did something against you in the past. Um, if there's any legal situations out there, they will be rectified or they be, will be resolved. Seems like uh, karma or good luck is on your side with any legal situations, um, especially involving money. Could be resolved sometime in October for anyone with uh, dealing with legal situations. But nonetheless, you're definitely walking away from toxic situations and toxic people. Situations and people that drain your energy, that drain your life force during this time period. You just don't have time for it, literally. Um, there is something Capricorn about secrecy here. Um, going into October, November. Really specifically around December. Secrecy. Something about secrecy. Um, not... A lot, not being able to allow everyone in, um, into the secret, into the no. <clears throat> Something that could be eating you up inside, not necessarily a bad thing. I think it's just killing you that not everyone can know or not everyone knows. And you have to keep your mouth shut about it. So I don't know what the secret is. It could have something to do with work. Could have something to do with a work romance, office romance. Could have something to do with an office romance with a boss. But there is something about it where you have to keep it secret. Um, <clears throat> if you're not participating in it directly, it's something you know indirectly about that you have to keep secret about. Um, something about friendships is showing up here around November, December. And you know what I'm really picking up? I feel it's, if you're in a relationship or you're in a new relationship, there's something about, I want to meet your family, you want to, I, I want to meet your family too, or, oh my God, my family's so embarrassing, my family's so embarrassing too. Let's, it's something about you sharing your life with someone else or you sharing your life with other people. Um, around November, December, that helps someone or people fall more in love with you, Capricorn. That's very interesting. Um, love seems really, really big by the end of the year. You all love happiness, success, being on the right path, feeling good about yourself. And looking at the past year of 2019 like you know okay some things you know were ridiculous some things I had to go through almost broke me but they didn't look at me now like I came out um leading the pack that's how I feel like you're going to end up le in, uh leaving the year although there is something you're going to be waiting on as well even though you're feeling good by the end of the year you're feeling good around your birth time all right going into 2020. So I'm loving, loving, loving that. Some of you could be moving around the end of the year too or going into the early beginning of next year. So that's very interesting. So now, let's very quickly look into each month. I want to quickly look into the month of September for Capricorn. Let's just pull a few cards for September. September 2019 for Capricorn. Remember, if you want your own personal reading, check out my website. LamarTownsinTarot.com September for Capricorn. Oh. You're in a new environment, but you're in a new environment where old habits from past environments coming into September no longer can apply. So, for example, if you got a new job, um... If you get in, if you just recently got a new job, um, and 
you know, in your old job, it was okay to show up late. It was okay to, um, you know, take long lunches. Maybe not the case so much with this job. And it's like you only have so many warnings before, you know, you really, you know, get get a talking to. So there is something about habits that need to be broken, which I feel like you will break. They will be adjustments. I would say it's more so adjusting to a new environment, adjusting to a new situation. I don't think it'll be that hard for you. There is something about you needing to get more sleep in September Capricorn so make sure you're getting your rest but there is something about you being on a new path in some way shape or form um, whether you, you do have a new job whether you are living in a new living situation you're in a new relationship um, you're meeting and going out with new people or all, all of the above Some of you, if you're in a new environment, could have a lot of people vying for your attention in a romantic kind of way. While you may be focused on the bag, you may be focused on your own kind of thing. Interesting. People are attracted to your light, Capricorn. Come through. I love that. Okay, let's look at October. October for Capricorn. October 2018 for Capricorn. October 2018 for Capricorn. By now you've made yourself an authority in this new environment. Watch your money at the beginning of um, October, Capricorn. Could be a little tight. Just for a moment. <clears throat> I think it may be due to a shift going on in your life. Uh, like a transition in October. There's something about transition in October. And... Maybe not being the most adequately prepared for this transition, but making the best with what you have, um, the resources you have currently. I feel like this may be a theme for some of you in your life where it's like you frequently have transitions where you happen to transition where it's, it feels like the, at the most vulnerable time of your life. And it's almost like... Why can't I ever transition when I'm at the most abundant time of my life? You know, when I'm the most prepared, you know, instead of the most vulnerable and the least prepared. But there's something about you guys and that, or you all, I'm sorry, not you guys, you girls, you, you know, all those types of things. You all, you know, there's something about you all in those moments where you're most vulnerable, where it's easier to mold you spiritually. It's easier to, to connect with you spiritually. It's easier for... God to, or, you know, the universe, whatever you believe, spirit, to get the message across, to trust that you can't do it alone, that there's a meaning for everything, that you had to learn the lessons, you know, that's when it all comes together for you, Capricorn. I think you're going to have one of those moments this month where you get it. And it's like, that's why I had to go through that. That's why I stayed at that in that hor horrible position for that long. All right. It's just going to click this, this month in October. Oh, I love that. No, 
November for Capricorn November 2018 for Capricorn. <clears throat> okay, shifts and changes going on within some sort of corporation or entity that you are a part of. In actuality, it ends up working to your benefit because you end up... Um, looking good in some way or you end up gaining more responsibility getting more leadership roles or skills in some shape or form so i think what you'll realize during this time period capricorn of um september october november is that timing is and was everything this this entire year all right Maybe something about family. Good news for family. Maybe someone in the family gets a new job. There's something about relocation, acceptance into some sort of program. But there is good news for family in November. All right. Also could be something about traveling to visit family and just, you know, being happy to see each other. For some of you, there could be something about family you haven't seen in, like, years, decades. Love shows up um, in November, Capricorn, towards the end of the month. There's also something about a company party. A company party. Possibly. That you will be invited to take a lover to, maybe. Or you, maybe vice versa, your lover's taking you to a company party. Um... I feel like there's something where you're going to see a different side of your co-workers and that may be a good or bad thing at the company party. It's just going to make you look at them differently in, in the office or at the workspace. <clears throat> or maybe it's at a company party, there's something about just hanging out with co-workers, people you work with outside of the workspace and... You have some sort of encounter that's like, oh man, I thought you were different. Or, wow, I thought you were different, you know. So, something like that. But Okay, lastly, let's look at December 2018 for Capricorn. December 2019 for Capricorn. Remember to subscribe, comment, share. Contact me for a personal reading. I am an astrologer as well as a psychic tarot reader, so I can read your birth chart, your natal chart, or your tarot cards. Good times with family in December, Capricorn, making memories, maybe wishing you could have provided more, or being hard on yourself for not being able to provide more. Be happy, be grateful for what you what you are able to provide. 
There's something heavy on your mind, I feel like, during December. But nonetheless, there is good around you, definitely. You know what I think it is? I think there's something about compromise in December. Where you may have to do something you don't really want to do. It's almost like... Maybe you're dating someone or you're in a relationship and it's like your partner wants you to go visit their family for the holidays, but you want to go visit your family, but you went to go visit your family last year, so now you have to compromise and go visit their family, but you don't really get along with their family, you don't really like their family, so you now you have to tolerate them, you know, it's like, you know, something like that. <clears throat> But compromise, Capricorn, it will work to your benefit. Compromise in any way you can, even if it relates to work. Good news around work, by the way. People can be very, very proud, very, very grateful for your contribution in the workspace. And they may express this in some way, shape, or form. Be careful of any blow-ups. I feel like December is going to be a stressful time during this time of the year. So be careful of any potential blow-ups. Especially in the workplace, maybe with customers or clients. Or co-workers. Or bosses. <laughs> you know, whatever your situation is, just definitely, you know, mind your temper in the workplace. The workspace. I feel like there's something about the uh, very end of the year where you're going to kind of want to hibernate. It might not be a bad thing. Just don't isol isolate yourself from people who want to connect with you. And who obviously want to connect with you because they love what you love you, not just because they want to, you know, be all up in your Capricorn business. Pull the card for you for this time period. You got healed. You heal your heart. Love yourself as much as you want to be loved. I think this is your journey during this time period, Capricorn, of September to December 2018. It's healing your heart and learning how to further love yourself. Alright. What a beautiful, beautiful reading. I love it. I want to cry. Tears of joy, of course. Okay. Remember, if you would like a personal reading from me, I am available for readings, and I would love to read for you. Um, my name is Lamar Townsend. I am an astrologer. I'm a psychic tarot reader, and I am available for readings. So check out my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. This has been Capricorn for September 2019, October 2019, November 2019, and December 2019. All right? Psychic tarot reading horoscope. Thank you for listening and watching. Subscribe, like this video, comment, share. Follow me on my social media pages. My Instagram is at Lamar Townsend Tarot. My Facebook is at Lamar Townsend Tarot. And also make sure that you check out my ebook on Amazon titled Zodiac Signs Sex Language. Also my singles on iTunes, Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, YouTube Music, and other streaming services called Unblock Me and Forbidden Fruit. Love and light until next time. Have a great rest of the year, Capricorn. Can you believe it? I can. Love y'all.